And I mentioned Nikki Haley. I want to bring this up too. Nikki Haley had one of the best weeks in politics ever. Why? Because she did something that I've never heard of, didn't know that happened. And to understand it, you kind of have to um, read into it about it. That's what makes it lovely is, is you can't just go and uh, and understand why it's funny. The more you think about it, the funnier it is. So what happens in Nevada is, is they have caucuses. But recently, they changed to a primary. So the difference between a primary and a caucus, I mean, basically one is a vote and one is like a bunch of speeches speeches and a vote. And um, we can bring up the definition of a caucus. States can either hold primaries or caucuses as part of the presidential nomination process. Both processes allocate delegates, blah, 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 blah. A caucus is a political meeting as opposed to a primary, which is an election. So a representative from each campaign is allowed to give a short speech in support of its candidates, and then ballots are handed out to the caucus goers who receive a secret ballot. The ballots are then collected and counted in open view. So a bit of an old way to do things, the caucus. Everybody comes up you, who's a candidate. They give their speech, and, you know, you vote for it. And, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, for you to have to forcibly listen to people before you cast your vote and you know they're allowed to give you their last words last things to consider i think that's pretty fair so that's what they had in nevada but they recently went to a primary the democrats they're just like we're gonna have a primary and for some reason a bunch of republicans wanted to go with that probably because it's easier to cheat and they had this primary which trump didn't show up to so nikki haley actually lost to nobody and the thing that they fill in is none of these candidates. Now, this this started happening when did we we started using um, 1975? None of these candidates first appeared. So so Nikki Haley. I mean, she beat Mike Pence. She beat Tim Scott, who got a thousand votes. John Castro, okay. Other candidates, okay. Hopefully, these were Kanye West votes. Uh, Mike Pence, 2800. You know, a few people drew in the Mike Pen- Pence uh, laser beam gay conversion memes, which are very popular. Or Nikki Haley got 22,000 votes, 34%. But they all lost to none of these candidates, which, of course, more than likely means Donald Trump or they just hate you. Let me correct myself. They hate her. In order to not vote for somebody in your party or voting for this party... And they, not triple, but more than double the amount of votes you had to give it to zero people. In Mike Mike Pence's case, they voted for 44,000 times more than they voted for Mike Pence. It means they hate you. Because it, it means even though none of you are the best people in the world... I still don't trust you enough to for any of you to represent this this state with my vote. Now, you can say they're all just there for Donald Trump, right? Because they're going to have this caucus. Trump didn't even ap- uh, apply for this one. And they're going to have this caucus and Trump's obviously going to win. But it, in short of that, they could have just voted for whoever they think is best. And then they would have had an argument, right? So not these people went out of their way. To go f- to vote in something that the person they likely are going to vote for isn't involved in at all. They just went to go and vote in this because they don't like them that much. And that, that's a good sign for politics. <laughs> 47,000 people in the state of Nevada were willing to show up to tell basically Mike Pence and Nikki Haley that they suck. And I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that for Nevadaans, for right-wingers, for... People who act out of rage and vengeance. I'm happy for that. Because Nikki Haley gets to go home and say, not only did I lo- am I going to lose to Trump, but even when Trump's not there, people dislike me so much that more than two times the amount of people who like me are going to show up and say, shut up. <laughs> and Mike Pence is just there. He's like, I'm Mike Pence and Tim Scott's, you know, 
voting for something you shouldn't vote for or vice versa. And that's what happened with Nikki Haley. And and she's not giving up either. I'll have you know, Nimrod is not a Nimrod. She knows that the further she goes, the further the chances that she gets a political career in commentary at CNN. I mean, she's appearing on SNL. She's appearing on CNN. Um, they're putting on things they don't put a real right wing person in. There's no Ron DeSantis on CNN, even though that would be hilarious. I mean, sorry, on SNL, that would be hilarious. There's no Trump. Uh, Trump's not being in, invited to any left wing TV shows. He's not about to appear on Jimmy Fallon, which would also be awesome because he did that before he was elected. And Jimmy Fallon, you know, shook his hair up. So congratulations to Nikki Haley. I hope she keeps going just so she can be one of these like Andrew Yang types where they they just insist that people want another choice and that it should be them, but they're nowhere near as popular as they they believe they should be. Because they, they've had the system support them for so long. They're just like, I deserve to be here. It's Hillary Clinton syndrome. When you're Hillary Clinton and you've had this upbringing that says, you're the best. Um, you're fighting for all the right things. You may or may not be stealing children. Um, then you certainly think that some th- things are deserved of you. And not that just you need to have things handed to them. It's that you need to have them handed to you now. And you need them handed to you faster than everybody else. You know, if Hillary Clinton, um, you know, accepted her election loss that she didn't and, you know, just hung low for a while and decided at some point within the last year or so to be like, Hey guys, I'm back. I see what Trump's done and Biden's not doing the greatest job either. I can come back and try or try in 2028, but no, she deserves it now. Just like she deserves everything else. Nikki Haley deserves it now. Ron DeSantis deserves it now. None of them could wait. They all thought they could beat Trump. And no matter what you think of them, they're not as popular as Trump. Turn it up, Jordan.